So we approached William's team a couple of years ago regarding resuscitation techniques, the processes involved and the time dependent manner that those needed to be done in. Um, and we approached them because they have similar processes that we believe are used in the pit stop. Initially, obviously, we, we uh, were a little bit taken aback and sort of thought, you know, how can we, how can we relate the two? Um, but we visited the, uh, the site over in Cardiff uh, and actually when we started to um, dig a little bit deeper and look at the, the processes involved in, in, in both sides, we, uh, we soon saw the, uh, the correlation between the two uh, and actually there's a lot of areas where there's a lot of similarities um, and, and ways that we could uh, hopefully impart some of our uh, strategic um, planning, uh, our, our training techniques uh, and analysis and look at that from, from a uh, neonatal recess. Uh, Perspective. So we audited the uh, equipment on our resuscitation trolley and found that there was a, a substantial amount of excess equipment. We've now streamlined that in accordance with NLS guidelines and also on the advice of a neonatal consultant with special interest in resuscitation. Uh, we've re-audited the streamlined trolley after it was in situ for about six months and we found significant improvements in the accessibility and the organisation of the equipment, which in turn has a time-dependent um, f effect on our resuscitation processes. So we have seen today um, a pit stop uh, in the process with all team members acting in a concerted and harmonious um, manner and that's what we're striving to do with our resuscitation processes.